Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting box. Let me fix my hair here. It looks a little crazy. Not that it doesn't always look crazy, but anyways, I have one of Odin's Eyes Spring Mystery Boxes. This is the large one. It was 75 and I believe it's supposed to be like 170 worth of product. They did have a smaller one that was 45 and I believe that was supposed to be like $90 worth. This was something that they ran for like three days for Easter. They did one last year too. I didn't get that one, but the only stuff that I have from Odin's Eye are eyeshadow palettes and all but one of them are like limited edition. So I only have like one permanent palette from them. So I'm hoping that there's some good stuff in here. So if you want to see what I got in this mystery box, then just keep on watching. Also, if you are new, welcome. Make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button. Um, and yeah, let's jump in. Okay. The video. So like I mentioned, this was, this is the big one. I didn't get both. I cut the tape, but I haven't actually opened it. Oh my goodness. How's this open? Oh, there's more. I cut the main part of the tape. I can read my box cutter, but I did not cut the tape right here on the top. Okay. So, like I mentioned, there was two, and they ran them for a couple of days. There we go. Okay. And then if there is anything in here that... Um, I have, I will do a giveaway in this video. So let's see. The first thing that I see is a makeup mirror. I was worried it was the palette because this is the only permanent palette that I own the Soul Main 2, which is in a drawer somewhere. But this says it's a makeup mirror. So, oh my goodness. I probably should have oh, just left the box cutter out. Lord have mercy. Okay. I'll just leave the box cutter out. I've got so much stuff in my cabinet that I have to put a hair tie to keep the cabinet closed. Okay, so this is the first item. This is what the box looks like. When you open it, this was on top. I was thought this was the eyeshadow for a second because the packaging is the same. Like I said, this is the only permanent palette that I own of theirs, and I got it recently. This is cute. I don't have many handheld mirrors. Oh, and it's got the magnifying side on one side and then the normal on that side. And it's just clear acrylic with Odin's eye on it. That's cute. The one that I normally keep on my desk is from Melt Cosmetics, the Beetlejuice collection. And I, I hardly ever use it because I have a stand one that's like hands free. I'm not mad about that. Okay, and then it looks like we got brushes. I'm assuming this is brushes. Like that. Is there tape on this? No, there's no tape on this. So yeah, if they're... I didn't know if they would put like the Soul Main 2 palette in here. I did buy it recently, so if there ends up being a night shadow palette that I have, I will do a giveaway. The other palettes I have of theirs are the Christmas Morning. I have the three most recent collab palettes, and then I have Angelica Nyquist's. So that is that. And it is brushes. I've never tried any of their brushes, so it looks like it's a five-piece eye brush set, and they're really pretty. So that's cool. I have one brush from Kaleidos that I've, it's a face brush, but I've never tried any of the brushes from Onzai. And so then we have some bubble wrap and there's tapes. So I'm glad I left this out. I figured since I don't have much that's permanent, except that one palette, that there would be stuff that I wouldn't have. So I'm going to, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. And they, looks like they have some singles so we'll open those. And I do have Z palettes and like a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to take this stuff out of the bubble wrap and then we'll go through it. Okay, so this is from the Soul Main 2. It is 
Sunlight Love Blusher. I don't know what, the, uh, Orange Sunny is the shade and there's like plastic on it. They like vacuum seal everything, which I, you know, appreciate, but it's kind of a pain to get into. There's the box. The packaging is really pretty. I don't have any face products. I was hoping to get like a blush or a highlighter at least. I'm going to destroy. Oh my goodness. This is... I figured getting my nails cut down would help. I am just going to have to like rip this box open. My goodness. I can't get the box up. I cut my nails down because I have to move my grandmother down from Montana. I live in Arizona and then we're going to be helping my husband's aunt renovate. So I cut my nails off and now I can't helpless here. I can't open anything. Good Lord. Okay. <laughs> so there is the packaging. It's really pretty. I figured it'd be easier with short nails to open stuff, but clearly it's not. And it's just a pretty like neutrally orange shade. That's pretty. Terracotta, kind of. That's pretty. Okay, and then I don't know what this is. There is a matte lip stain in Sweet Peach. So there is the packaging on that. That's pretty. Again, uh, doesn't really have a smell. Kind of a warmy red. Yeah, I guess peach would be the right. There is some peach in there. Definitely a warm, nude kind of color. That's pretty. And then there's this. I don't know what this is. What is this? A velvet lipstick in light peach. I appreciate that it's like wearable shades. I mean, I'm not picky. I'll, I wear weird colors of things. So the only issue would be like a highlighter that's too dark. But if even if it's too dark, I can use it as a bronzer or a blush topper. So I don't think we got any highlighters, which is okay. I'm happy with the blush. There's the packaging on that. Oh, that's a pretty nude color. No smell. There's a little swatch right there of that. Sometimes in mystery boxes, you get like weird colors, which not everybody wants. And then there's a single little eye brush. I'm gonna put it in with these because I'll unpackage these later. I like the little travel case. And then we got are these all eyeliners. Let's see, gel. They're part of the Soul Main collection. This is a 001. So it's a pink. 002, a yellow. And 014 and kind of a taupe. I really like um, ColourPop's gel liners. I use them in my waterline all the time. They're very, very pigmented, so I have high hopes for these. I like the pack. Oh, and I was able to get that open. Let me open all of these really quick. Like I said, the packaging is killing me here. The amount of plastic that's on this stuff. They are a Swedish company, so, I mean, I do appreciate that it's secure packaging because, knock on wood, I've never had a palette come broken, but... The vacuum seal. My dad was a smoker and I smoked when I was in my early 20s. So the vacuum seal packaging on the, that's always what it makes me think of. Which sounds funny, I'm sure. A pack of cigarettes if you ever smoked or had a parent that smoked. 
Okay. So let's look at, they look like they're really pigmented. So I'm excited about these. Uh, these will definitely get used because like I said, I'm all about using colored liners. And I only have one other pink one and it's actually a lip liner that I bought from LA Colors. Oh, and the taupe has some shimmer in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see a little sparkle right there. That's cool. Those will get used. I am excited about that. And there's, let's put everything in a pile. And there's a little mini eyeshadow palette from, I forget what collection this was from. Don't judge me. I use my teeth sometimes. So this is the for Dandy, I think, maybe. Most of their stuff is based on like Norse mythology. This is the blue one. I remember when they launched these. So you've got three mattes and like this is a shimmer and the split pan shimmer. So that's cool. This isn't necessarily the one that I would have purchased myself, but it's pretty and I'm happy to have it and should try like the formula out of these. Cause I know their formula has evolved and changed with each like palette and launch thing that they've done. So, and then there's like three, I think these are singles cause they did launch a single collection. So let me take them out of the bubble wrap. They look like shimmers. I don't know if they have any matte singles. I know they have a bunch of like multi-chrome and glittery. And again, they're all sealed in plastic here, if I can get the plastic off. Okay. Okay, and I do, like I said, I do own some Z palettes. Let's see, do I have one handy that I can pop these in? Oh, I got a couple down here, let's see. I might pop them in this pink one for now. I do have a gigantic empty Z palette. I don't know if it has any room. This is, let's see, is there room in here? If I can get this open? No. Maybe, I mean, I guess technically I could squeeze them in over here, so I'll have to see. <laughs> this thing is full and it's heavy. Okay, so I don't know about putting them in there per se, but I do have this little, I have a little small, like, clear, it's not a clear top, but I don't know where it ran off to. It's like a little baby nine pan Z palette, but some of my stuff is like packed up downstairs. So I don't know where it ran off to. I'll use this pink one for now until I figure out if I'm gonna, my singles, like I have little graveyard stickers on my Z palette because I never use anything in there. I don't know what the shade name of this is, Noah. So it's like a green, that's pretty. I kind of like the idea of having this in with the rest of my Odin's Eye stuff, so I'll probably keep it separated for now. Oh, so I'm not going to try and pop that out because that's going to take me forever. And then this it says Jewel Shine, Jewel Shine. Are they all Jewel Shine? Jewel Shine. Okay. Noah. Kevin and David are the three shades that I got. I'll just take them out of the box. So you can see, oh my Lord, it's killing me here. So let me hold them up. One's definitely lighter than the other. And the last one, the amount of plastic again. It is a blue. The struggle bus. Like I said, I thought it would be easier with the short nails, but I can't. Keeping all this stuff so I don't care if I rip the box. It is a blue. So we got, and I will try and get these out later. I got the three single shadows. This little 
five pan, six technically with the split pan palette. Uh, the gel liners. The lipstick. The lip stain. The blush. And plastic. The brush set. The single brush. and the mirror so definitely not bad i was kind of hoping i know last year they had the um all the two palette which was a bigger palette um i didn't expect them to put the same one in there because that would be silly but i think this was a good box you'll have to let me know what you think of the stuff that i got i don't have any of this stuff because i don't have very much from the brand like i said in the beginning so I figured my odds were pretty good about getting things that I didn't own because I figured the odds of them putting one of the palettes that I own was pretty slim because the Soul Main 2 palette that I ended up purchasing is sold out all the time. So I wasn't worried about them putting that in there. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Did you think it was a good value? Leave me a comment down below. They did this last Easter, so I'm assuming they're going to do it again next Easter if you are interested in possibly getting a box next year, they do have the option to sign up for email notification. That's what I did. So I knew when this was dropping. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and hopefully I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye everybody.